Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create high quality mockups just like these in Photoshop. I'm going to show you the best websites to get all your mockups for free and also a few hacks while creating them. And if you are someone who doesn't have Photoshop or if you want to create mockups without Photoshop, watch till the end. I'm going to be talking about good online tools you can use for creating these mockups without using Photoshop. So before creating these mockups, let's first understand why do we create them. So mockups are basically a visual representation of how product, service or any design will look in real life. It saves the cost of actually getting the design printed in real life and doing a proper product photography which can cost a lot. It is also a really great way to present your logo design concepts or any kind of design concepts to your clients while sending them your ideas. Enough talk, let's start creating these mockups. Okay, so here I have my file in Illustrator. This is a packaging design I created for this brand called Flavors of India. And this is the front side of it and this is the back side. So as you can see, this was created in Adobe Illustrator. And usually I create all my designs in Illustrator. I use Photoshop mainly for like mock-up image retouching or editing like that but Illustrator is like my main go-to software to create any kind of design so as you can see um, you will see all these images coming out and if you want to have a cleaner look to it you can go to view and trim view it you will have the final look on how the design looks but again if you send this to the client even if you send like a high quality one uh, it's not that appealing to the client and the client won't understand how this will look in an actual package which will be the end product so the client can also get it printed or even you can get it printed but that just adds more cost to your process so instead of doing that and uh, saving cost and even time what you can do is you can get these exact designs into high quality mockups or the same product packaging what the client was looking for so what we'll do is we'll go on the internet and uh, sorry my Insta instagram page was open if you aren't following me guys go follow it <laughs> okay shameful plug let's go to google and this is like my go-to place for all my mockups it's called freepick.com so usually i open this website directly but uh, for example if you don't know any website to open you just type out for example uh, that was food packaging mockup you just type this out and i guess it should always be the first link because it's a very pretty famous website and here you can see this is the pouch design which we are looking for so and i, I think we already found our um, packet we were looking for this is exactly the packet which the brand is having so the cheese ring corn puffs is exactly like this so this was a lucky thing that we found our mock-up in the first go so what you'll do is you'll click on download and then you click on free download so just like that for some people if you have winrar in your laptop for, for you winrar file will be downloaded for me there was a zip file downloaded so now you go to your zip file and you right click it and then you extract all so it's important to extract this file so what you can do is once you have your file right here double click and open it and here is the image to view on what the mock-up is about so this is what was there in the website but you don't need this you just need to double click and open the photoshop file so and just click on photoshop it'll take some time to open but oh wow <laughs> Usually it, does, it takes more time, trust me. But yeah, so this is our design. And um, basically whenever you open any Photoshop mockup from the website, uh, you always make sure to notice the layers panel. So uh, if you can't find the layers panel anywhere, go to window and click on the layers or press F7. So you will find the layers panel. Here they will give you clearly all the edits of the mockup you can change the background you can remove it this is the front one if you open it with this drop down arrow it will give you adjustment layers and the main thing you need to focus on is this icon the save kind of icon because here is where you double click it and this is your area of design this is where whatever you'll design will come on the mockup and it will adjust the lighting shadows everything properly so now what you do is you go to illustrator you make sure this is the correct artboard so four and five you will need to export artboard four and five so you click on export and then you go your four and five and then here you just name final final design okay so just to um, just for our understanding you click on final design and it doesn't matter if you have a background or no 
so you come on photoshop you place link and you open the file now you open the folder and you find where your final design was there your front and back so now you'll open the front one and once you double click on it it will get imported and as you can see there is like a cross here because it's not yet embedded so what you'll do is in photoshop you don't necessarily need to press shift while increasing you can just press alt and it will increase it um throughout like properly so now here you can see there is a problem which we are having okay the the edges are slightly bigger they're slightly wider than our original design it's obviously this problem is going to happen because these mockups are not based on our design ours was like a custom size so one thing what you can do is you can go back to illustrator and i think i have uh yeah you can go back to illustrator what you can do is uh get make a copy of this okay and you know that uh, the the widths the sides are extended so in the original design you can just extend it roughly this much and then take the take all the background and just simply extend it to the desired size like this so now you don't need to worry about um, the sizing so yeah i guess that's pretty much uh, that that will work so this is a artboard number 6 so we will quickly export this and and now right now and now we'll write final final uh, i do this a lot i know everyone does it so just click on okay go back to photoshop so let's just delete this first so yeah we don't need this we will go to file place link and where is our final final it's right here so hopefully this fits yeah this is fitting pretty much perfectly so we're going to click on okay that um tick arrow and after you place this if you go back your mockup hasn't applied so there is one important step you need to do is you need to press control s press control s you will see something loading here and then you go back to your mockup and look at this look at how real this looks it looks like as if i've got it printed and once you you zoom in look at how good the quality of this is and if you want i will provide the link of all the mockups i'm using in this video in the description so if you want to use the same one go ahead it's for free as you saw i downloaded it for free so yeah so now we got a front uh, now we now we have to get a back also so we will what we'll do is we'll press shift o we will get the copy of this down um we will align it and then we'll extend the artboard to exactly how it was in the first one because that was the exact measurement again we're going to select a background we're going to extend it the design won't matter a lot because it's okay to have some white space um, on the sides because your main focus should be in the center and anyways in a packet the sides always gets folded so it's uh, not good to have anything printed right there so we will quickly export this as well click on export as select make sure you put the right artboard number so this one we will name it as final final back design so there you go we'll go to photoshop a lot of people copy and paste the design but uh, i prefer having it exported because then you get the highest quality so here you can see we have got in the front one now we will open the back we will click on this double click on this save icon okay so now we have exported the back one we will uh, import the back final final yeah we have imported this and again make sure you don't press shift while increasing the size you only press alt to increase the size all throughout and you click on the stick mark and again the most important part uh, make sure you press control s or command s for i think mac users so now you go back and just <laughs> look at this so in like in like 5 minutes we now made this look so real and without any cost this was a free mock up always make sure that the mock ups which you download from the internet are free to use for commercial purposes because um if that is there then the this brand can use these mock ups for their website as well if not if it's for personal use you can use it and just see how it's looking so yeah again it's a very high very high quality uh but i guess the background is looking a little plain uh so what we can do is we can we have the power to change that as well we can remove the background if we want and just you know export this as pngs or we can like slightly change the background color i guess a yellow color will look nice so what we can do is we'll double click on this color and we will just color pick on some yellow color so let's take it from the cheese puffs only 
not sure if yellow or orange will look nice i guess it's just um too overpowering yeah yeah i think it's very overpowering if we use yellow or orange i mean it adds a nice touch to it but i guess having a you know like a simple plain background a white one or uh, just gives out the poppiness of the color and just this this packet really stands out when it's like on a plain background so yeah this was an example of how to create mock up having websites which create mock ups for you without using photoshop or other apps like that is very helpful for even uh, people who have photoshop because what happens is sometimes your laptop crashes sometimes the file is too heavy uh you know a lot of things can happen a lot of possibilities to so having uh, like a website which is like very safe and you can download the mock up easily will save so much time like honestly and for mock ups like visiting cards phone covers laptop mock ups you don't need to always download it on the internet because these are like very common and very basic mock ups which you can find online uh let me show you a website it's called mockupbro.com Mock up bro if you're watching this sponsor me please <laughs> oh yeah so this is the website i had talked about this on my insta as well so here you can see there are so many different options if you are creating so let's let's click on packaging because our first mock up was from packaging so we are lucky again if you click on the first one this was chips packaging so let's apply our original design and let's see how different it was from a photoshop mock up so it was right here a final design we will okay so there's this ad coming yeah so i guess this is it okay not bad honestly for like this this mock up took like 2 seconds to make uh the thing that is missing is some lighting and shadows which uh, you can just remove the background and edit in photoshop but uh, not bad here you can add like different background which you want you can also like color pick or just choose any background you like to put so mock up bro is is a really good website to uh, have it quickly for example you want some business card mock up and you don't want to download it uh download a photoshop file because it's very heavy and this is like a very simple mock up so just um, go your just click on upload and just upload your design and simply you can easily download it it's quick it's free and it just does the job really well thanks a lot for watching guys the link for mockup bro uh, the website and free pick both of them will be down in the description and i really hope you found this video valuable i love creating videos like this and sharing my knowledge on how i work how i create mockups how i create presentations and stuff like that and yeah i just hope you had a fun time and if you learned something from this and if you are very excited to create your first mock up uh, just go ahead click on the link in the description go check out free pick there is so much to explore and start creating your own mock ups bye bye